Tyranny traces its lineage back to the 1995 PlayStation strategy game Carnage Heart. That game put the player in charge of a group of mechs over which they had no direct control. They could only follow pre-programmed commands. Tyranny functions the same way, with the player designing and programming a fleet of drones and then sending them into battle with fingers crossed. The hardware design of the drones is fairly straightforward, but the software design is another thing entirely. The player can't command the drones once a round starts. The machines can only follow their programming. Each functional part, the engines, weapons, and special devices, has its own program nexus that can communicate with all the others. While programming a drone requires no knowledge of actual computer languages, it's still very complex. Simple drones made for simple tasks, such as combat over clear terrain, can be programmed with minimal effort. As the battles and the machines get more elaborate, the programming demands get more difficult. Tasks such as maneuvering through obstacles can require dozens of commands and multiple variables to execute. Tyranny offers a single-player campaign with various short missions that can be used to unlock new hardware components, but the more interesting part of the game is its asynchronous multiplayer. Because combat is automatic, a player doesn't need to be online to participate in a PvP match. Overall, Tyranny's harsh learning curve makes it a game that's going to appeal mainly to the more technically minded. If you're not the patient type, this probably isn't the game for you.